So now I've used my um, OEX temp for a little while. Uh, I thought I'd do a review on it because there's hundreds of reviews for OEX out there. Um, but a lot of them are by people that do camping, you know, for a living, you know, YouTube for a living. Um, and they're out all the time. So I thought it'd be handy for a novice to do it. Um, someone who's only used it, what, three times, three, four times. So um, just to give you an idea of what it's like for someone just starting out. So I'm going to record myself in real time, putting the tent up. And then what I'll do is, um, obviously I'll make it into a time lapse, but I'll put a, a stopwatch in there on real time so that you can see exactly how long it takes me to set it up. I think online and in the adverts, it says about eight or 10 minutes. Um, I'll check that out and uh, let's see how long it takes me to set it up. Um, here we are. So that bit of filming was uh, nine minutes. It's more or less done. Um, I haven't pegged out the vestio, which I'll probably do in a bit, um, or the uh, the ground pegs, but uh, it's up. It's probably the only gripe at this stage of putting the of using the tent is um, the pegs. Um, which are pretty bog standard for um, 
the price range of the uh, OEX. They're pretty shit, to be fair. Um, but they they work for a little while. Um, temp pegs aren't particularly expensive. Get yourself on Amazon or eBay, and you'll be able to pick some up at a reasonable price. Um, I would recommend changing them. Um, I have got other tent pegs which are better. It's just that they're in with my other tent at the moment, so um, at some point I will change them back. One more thing I want to tell you about is when you first unpack your tent, um, you'll have the outer separate to the inner. Um, so you put the when you first set it up, you put the outer up first, and then once you're happy with the setup, then you um, then you put the inner inside. It's got little toggles um, that you go around the back end of it to do and then the front end and then it's got little um bits of bungee that you connect the inner to um where the uh where the framework is basically um let me show you so these are the these are the uh toggles just slip them through there and there's about uh eight on each side Maybe not so many down the far end. And then at the bottom, you've got these little ones that hook onto the strap. On the back of the tent, um, I believe it is um, like a nylon or bungee cord that they clip onto. But you'll see it. You, you know whether or not you've done it right. Because the if the floor of the tent is flat, then it's set out correct. If you find that it's kind of rippled or um, is bunched up, um, then it means that you've you've not stretched out the outer part of the, the tent far enough. Um, I found out the hard way about that. So there's e enough room to sit up in the tent. Admittedly, you've, you've not got much above it, but how much time are you really going to spend in your tent? Hopefully, most of the time will be the hike, the trek, or um, setting the tent up. So uh, personally, unless it's raining, I don't spend a lot of time inside the tent, so this is adequate for me. Uh, you've got pockets uh, both sides. Uh, you can... Put the uh, put the door in there if you want. So if it's particularly hot, like it was on my last camp, uh, what you can do is you can um, you can undo the mesh on this one. Uh, there we are. Just let a bit of air flow in, and then obviously there's a net there to stop the majority of the the bugs and that going in, which is good. As far as the size goes, um, it says it's a two berth. Um, you'd have to be extremely friendly to to sleep in here with two people. Um, it kind of kind of narrows a little bit by the looks of it, um, but it, it's you know it's comfy enough. Again, this end seems to be higher than the back end. Um, so what I tend to do is ideally, when you get in a tent, I like to sleep down that end, um, but I just find there's more headspace. At this end, so personally, I sleep uh, at the door end. But um, yeah, it's always a comfy night. Always. So for those of you that haven't seen my videos yet, let's have a look at it when it's got my gear in, which is my uh, thermal mat, my mattress, and then my sleeping bag. So there we are, set up with the uh, thermal mat, mattress, a sleeping bag. I haven't put my rucksack in there, but as you can see, there's plenty of room for it to go down the side. So that's all good. Morning. So, uh, yeah, it's up all right. Um, as always, the, uh, the tent held up really well. It's hardly any condensation in there at all. Um, and it, it, 
you know it was it was warm enough for the temperature that was outside so um it was a comfortable night i would say if you're just starting out and you're looking for a small tent that you can put on on the back of a, a backpack or a rucksack then um this particular type is uh is ideal for you uh, had a really good time um more packed up like i said so i'm off to work now um if you enjoyed the video give it a like and leave me a comment i do answer them all in the meantime i will catch you on the next one take care bye now